Damien Spinelli isn't seen as often these days on General Hospital, so whenever he pops back into Port Charles for another visit, newer viewers can be forgiven for not knowing too much about the quirky character. Spinelli was first introduced back in November of 2006 when Bradford Anderson joined GH as the computer geek. Although initially a recurring character, Spinelli proved so popular Anderson was put on contract with the soap just six months later. He remained with the soap until December of 2013, earning three daytime Emmy Award nominations for his work along the way. Anderson has continued to pop back and periodically, well, aside from that one time when the role was briefly played by Blake Berry's, ex Nick, Days of Our Lives, and continues to delight fans with his occasional returns. Spinelli was first seen as a computer hacker working for the villainous Lorenzo Alcazar, but he eventually switched sides and began working for Sonny Corinthus and Jason Morgan. He became smitten with Lulu Spencer but developed a close friendship with Georgie Jones. Tragically, just as he realized she had a crush on him, Georgie was murdered by the text message killer. Determined to find the killer, Spinelli teamed up with her sister, Maxie Jones, and he eventually became taken with her as well. After bringing Diego Alcazar to justice, the pair remained close and even slept together. Their relationship was unconventional, and when he proposed, she reluctantly agreed. But overhearing her fears about marriage just before the wedding, Spinelli turned the ceremony into a non-wedding. They agreed to marry in the future and just enjoy the reception. Everyone was relieved when Maxie and Spinelli didn't tie the knot. Ron Tom slash ABC Maxie sleeping with Franco wasn't great, but when she later pretended to flirt with Matt Hunter to try to make Spinelli jealous and fight for their relationship, he instead decided to let her go. Spinelli was thrilled when Brenda Barrett moved in with him and Jason and he helped protect her from the Balkan. After taking a bullet for Maxie, Spinelli was temporarily stuck in his jackal P.I. Personality, a character from The Secret Life of Damien Spinelli, the book he'd recently written with Diane Miller. He later moved in with Maxie and helped prove that she didn't kill Matt. She begged Spinelli to keep quiet and tried to marry Matt so she wouldn't have to testify against him, but Matt confessed to the crime and went to prison. Maxie eventually forgave Spinelli, but he was still angry. While helping Jason on an investigation, Spinelli fell for hospital lab tech Ellie Trout. When she learned of his complicated romantic history with Maxie, Ellie didn't want to be his second choice, and he insisted she wasn't. He asked her to meet him on the roof of the hospital on New Year's Eve if they were meant to be together, but she got hit by a car and he got drunk believing he'd been stood up. Maxie took him home and they had a one-night stand. Learning of Ellie's injuries, Spinelli rushed to her side and they reconciled, but it turned out Maxie was pregnant. She claimed it was Dante and Lulu's daughter, as she was supposed to be acting as their surrogate. But after the infant's birth, Spinelli learned the truth that she had miscarried and then gotten pregnant with his child. They initially agreed to let Dante and Lulu raise the girl who they named Connie, but then changed their mind, leading to an ugly custody battle. Yeah, sorry, but we want our daughter back. Howard Wise slash Studios.com In the end, the judge awarded Spinelli sole custody, and Maxie wasn't allowed to see her child for six months. She begged Spinelli to ignore the court order, but he refused. When Ellie got a job in Portland, he joined her, and before leaving town with a baby, he and Maxie named her Georgie, after her late sister. Two years later, Spinelli returned to Port Charles having been dumped by Ellie, hoping to win Maxie back. She had moved on with Nathan West, but they were having problems, so she decided to give Spinelli another go. But when Ellie showed up wanting Spinelli back, he and Maxie realized they were making a mistake and returned to their respective partners. Spinelli returned to Portland with Ellie and Georgie, but has returned to bring Georgie to Port Charles for visits with her mother, and even officiated at Maxie and Nathan's wedding. Mostly, though, he returned to help Jason and Sam solve mysteries, such as proving that Patient 6 is the real Jason and locating Caesar Fison's son. 
Stone Cold and the Jackal make a formidable team. XJ Johnson slash Studios.com In January of 2020, Spinelli visited Maxi with Georgie because Ellie was interviewing for a new job in the area and by February, revealed that she'd gotten the position so their family would be moving back east. But when Maxi tried to get Spinelli and her new beau to get along, he refused, knowing that Peter August was up to no good and would break Maxi's heart. He then began working actively to expose Peter's crimes to save his Maximista. However, Spinelli also continued helping Jason with Cyrus Renault, and sadly reported in the summer of 2021 that his ongoing work with the Corinthus family had caused a rift with Ellie, who didn't approve, and they had split up. But at Jason and Carly's wedding, Spinelli was pleased when Maxi asked him to save her a dance. Stay tuned to see what Spinelli gets mixed up in next. Love GH? Be sure to join our We Love General Hospital Facebook group to chat about all the latest storylines and juicy gossip. Adlock 10.